Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Before I discuss boxing, I'm going to quickly, and I mean very quickly, in a minute, hopefully or less, give you some NFL thoughts and some NBA thoughts. Okay, first, in the NFL. NFL Futures. That's a market I like to play during the season. I'm not a believer in the San Francisco 49ers. Right? I just don't see it with them. Great defense? True. Alden Smith coming back? Sure. Great rushing attack? Great. I'd like to see Kaepernick hit somebody on a regular basis other than Vernon Davis and uh, Anquan Bolden. I expect the Seattle Seahawks in a few weeks to beat the New Orleans Saints in Seattle head-to-head. -head. That'll give Seattle the inside track, in my opinion, on winning the NFC. You want to give them a look on a futures market. Also, I believe you get great value in futures on the uh, Carolina Panthers right now. Green Bay suffered the loss of uh, Jermichael Finley. That's a huge loss given their other problems at wide receiver. I have doubts about that team. The flip side with Calvin Johnson getting over 300 receiving yards for the Detroit Lions is that the Lions don't have a diversified offensive attack. Not a lot of balls were caught by other wide receivers. I have questions about that team. In the NBA, I'm not a believer in the futures market, in the Chicago Bulls, right? Simply not. I view Derrick Rose as the second best player on that team. I think Jokin Noah is the uh, best player on that team. And um, just food for thought, that's how I see it. I think the Indiana Pacers are a much better futures play to come out of the uh, NBA's Eastern Conference. Let's talk about Janady Golovkin against Curtis Stevens. And remember, this is November the 1st, 2013. If I had only one bet to make on that fight, one bet and one bet only, it would be to take Golovkin to win by KO, right? When you're shorter like Stevens is, you really need foot speed, right? Because you're the one who needs to get inside to do damage. I don't believe Stevens has that foot speed. I think Stevens is really a sitting duck out there. Um, I understand he's a big hitter, but I believe his gimmick of being a guy with a big punch that sneaks up on you doesn't work at the elite level. And I just don't think that he leverages his height. In other words, he's not that elusive. He's not that great defensively. He's not that hard to find in the ring. And he doesn't move that well. Now, if I were to hedge the play, right, and you know that I prefer hedges to single bets, the hedge would be on Curtis Stevens by knockout. Right? I expect Stevens to get stopped in the fight, but this hedge is an affordable one because, of course, Stevens um, is a big-time puncher, and I believe Stevens understands he's not going to beat Golovkin by decision. So I believe the two most likeliest outcomes in this fight are, one, Golovkin winning by KO, right, or Stevens winning by KO. But you need to understand the risk in this one. If the fight goes the distance for whatever reason, you lose it all. Right? So just understand the risk. We're trying to squeeze value out of the Golovkin side of the play because Golovkin is an overwhelming favorite. But I see nothing in Steven's game that suggests to me that this fight is going to be anything other than a shootout, right? I'm expecting punches to land. I think the fighter with the bigger punch and the better defense is Janady Golovkin. I think Golovkin walks down Stevens. I'll be surprised if this fight makes it to the ninth round. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.